Welcome to the purge. It's purge day. It's purge day. This is the day where for 12 hours, you too can be as sick and as evil as you want. You, you sick, evil, you, you. We know that you all have some terrible, sick, evil tendencies. And all these tendencies build up during the year when you can't do them because the government says so. We all know government laws prevent all crime that they make illegal. So, for one night a year, we will give you the ability from the coldest, blackest parts of our heart to be the murderer you know you want to be. That's, that's, that's who we are. The, the nation of America, you see, it got too big and too overpopulated and, and there's too much at stake. So, this is just from our elitist perspective, but we'll give you 12 hours, you know, and you can do whatever you want. And obviously, you, you sick bastard, you, you, you want to kill people. You want to rape, you want to, you want to shoot up buildings, you want to blow things up. Yeah, you. You, and, and, and you know what? We're going to put this out in a movie, and, and we're going to, we're going to put it in theaters. Right? And, and then everybody's going to say that this is what anarchy is. Because they don't actually know and they don't care and it doesn't matter. What matters is we made money off of a shitty movie with a terrible premise that isn't real. But now everybody's going to claim that this is exactly what anarchy would be. Well, with what exact reasons? With what things do they claim that everything would just shut off and our moral centers would close if the state would just cut the ropes off of our wrists and let us be the murderous scumbags that we all secretly want to be? Well, nothing actually. Um, the purge is bullshit. And so are the people who claim it's anarchy. I've heard it way too many times, um, especially since they named one of their movies Anarchy. Not because it's actually real, not because it's actual anarchy, but because they thought it sounded cool. And the elites, they ate this shit up. Because they love fear porn. They like to really drive it home. That without them, without their protection, everything would devolve into madness. Um, and ultimately, uh, the people who, who make this criticism, they don't have any philosophical grounding for it, and they ignore the premise of the movie. Now, why am I bringing this up now? Well, because there's another Purge movie that came out. And this time, the Purge doesn't stop because, you know, people don't do what the government says. So the Purge basically undermined its entire fucking premise. Because what its premise is, is that for some reason, people are only going to do this for 12 hours a year. And they're definitely going to murder each other while they do it. And they, they make very clear the, the sort of intent of it. Uh, all crimes, including murder, are illegal. No longer illegal. So they, they, they really highlight that part. Um, even though that would be obvious. Even though that would be fucking one of the most obvious tenets of this sort of thing. They have to make that specific, and they have to specifically highlight that. Because the movie is about murder. And, 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 and it's not about anarchy. For those of you who don't know, murder is unlawful and premeditated killing. 
so just to just to be real clear here um law is not a concept invented by the state um and while they do have a sort of monopoly on law right now the you know sort of more natural law theory people slash common law theory people would have issue with the idea that murder is legal because the idea of murder is that it is illegal murder can't be legal by definition um but they they sort of undermine their premise here because if the forever purge which is what they're calling this can happen then clearly uh the people in this society this fictional society this society that doesn't exist um would not mind breaking the rules the rest of the year because clearly the purge is over the trailer says the purge is over and they can go back to daily business and uh th these people still kill people and they still cause mayhem and nobody's prepared for it because this has never happened before well bullshit it would have happened like the first time this was allowed because when you consolidate when you allow power to consolidate people are going to start to wonder why they ever followed your rules to begin with if they get a taste of that for 12 hours they're going to keep doing it it's it's how it works especially if you like give them a taste of it in this fictional universe where they want murder more than anything else like they don't want to start a business they don't want to make money untaxed they don't want to sell like large amounts of drugs in order to make quick cash so that they can have more after the purge no the purge is just a murder fest because people are murder fest fanatics they don't value stability they don't value reason they they don't value like a, a community that isn't constantly on fire and covered in blood they don't value any of that shit they're just fundamentally evil fucking scripted animals who will fucking kill each other at the first available opportunity um which is why they don't do that all year even though so clearly the uh purge has uh such an overwhelming effect on the uh first response system and the justice and law enforcement system that they can keep doing it afterward and it still fucking works so just to be clear their new movie undermines everything that they have previously stated and it proves their premise is fucking stupid anyway but I thought I'd go over why it's not anarchy. Because let me uh, read something that all these people who claim that, oh, anarchy would just be the purge, blah, 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 blah. Uh, they miss uh, the, the emergency broadcast system announcement. This is your emergency broadcast system announcing the commencement of the annual purge sanctioned by the U.S. government. Weapons of class 4 and lower have been authorized for use during the purge. All other weapons are restricted. Government officials of ranking 10 have been granted immunity from the purge and shall not be harmed. Commencing at the siren, any and all crime, including murder, will be legal for 12 continuous hours. Police, fire, and emergency medical services will be unavailable until tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. when the purge concludes. Blessed be our new founding fathers and America, a nation reborn. May God be with you all. So... Just to be specific, uh, if you're 10 or above, meaning a senator or higher, you're exempt. And if you do kill a senator or above, um, you're guilty of a crime now. Uh, additionally, you can't, like, nuke a place. So you can, like, shoot places up, you can bomb them, but you can't nuke. You can't do any, like, serious government action. You can't do what the government does on a daily basis. Because that would be closer to anarchy. Um, real anarchy would be 
yeah, y y your government officials better hide too. But y y this isn't anarchy. It's not anarchy. What it is, is it's a government protecting its own. So, just to be specific, in the first Purge movie, it centers around a guy who sells security systems to people who want to survive the Purge. And his house is threatened and invaded and shit. This system is really good for those who like this warlike environment. It's bad for those who want peace. It's bad for those who oppose crime. It's bad for those who want anarchy because it's good for the ruling class. It allows them to keep and cement their power while the proles fight each other. And most of the proles are going to die. And imagine the economic cost to the purge. Imagine that you have to rehire employees because the purge might happen. And the purge might kill your employees. Imagine having to restructure entire supply lines because your experts die. Imagine all of that. Imagine that society. That's not anarchy. That is oligarchy. That is fascism. It's not anarchy. But people still call it anarchy. Why? Because people want a straw man. They don't want a reasonable argument. They don't want to have the conversation about maybe the government does this to people all the time anyway. And maybe the government isn't the entity holding back the tides of aggression because they, like, do it for a living. Maybe we shouldn't be blaming anarchists for a thing that isn't their fault because of a dumb fucking movie. I thought I'd make this rant because, yet again... Um, you see people talking about the purge as though it's anarchy, as though this is what people are, as though this is like base human nature. This is what it looks like when you have a generation raised on media, when you have broken homes that raise people on devices and not parenting, when you have all of these things combined, um, uh, fucking drugs and violence and real life as a, as a sort of personal antidote to like <laughs> the uh the 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 horrors of living in in a country run by fundamentally wicked people uh when you have all these things combined um they create people who are willing to believe that their neighbors that their family that they would do this that they would be those murderers, and that without government, they would be terrible. Not just their neighbors, not just all that, right? Um, they would be. So let me be clear here. It's bullshit, but the society that we have created that. People are just believing what's on their screen. They're not analyzing it. That's why they think the Joker in the Dark Knight is the bad guy when he actually just solved all the problems for them. I mean, yeah, Batman might have seemed like the good guy, but you know what? How many fascisms did he have to do to get where he was? You know? How much evil did he have to help to get where he was? And how much escalation did he cause by being who he was in secret? Right? So, it's, it's just, it's the kind of thing that, that really sort of grinds my gears. Because, like, ultimately, we're dealing with a terrible society now. And this society is already running red with blood. But most people aren't even strong enough to, like, stand up for themselves or others when a cop does some crimes. Um, they're, 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 they're pulling out their phones. They're saying, hey, don't do that, don't do that, don't do that. You can't do that while George Fla Floyd dies or something. They're doing that. They're not murderers. They're not even that violent. Or, um, these police brutality situations would be a whole hell of a lot shorter. Because that's the truth. The truth is, 
that things like this, movies like this, are almost universally designed to create oppression by making it seem as though people are so bad and unmanageable as the rest of the year they will do what they're told, but, you know, 1% of crime, and then during the purge they'll just go ape shit. Suddenly everybody's a fucking boss girl and everybody can do everything and they're all fucking Rambo and everybody has their own fucking like gun and security system unless they're one of the poor people. There are still poor people in that society. Um, and, and like <laughs> this, this is considered anarchy because people have been fed this view of anarchy that is chaos, that is lawlessness that is everything that we should hate rather than um, freedom rather than the default state of nature rather than what we have without the state and the state has convinced them so thoroughly that they're monsters who need a leash that seeing a movie like this will convince them 100% and I just feel like that's, it's real emblematic of the society we live in, that this is how it is, that people use this as an analog to anarchy, rather than the black and gray market transactions that go on all the time, you know, little Timmy didn't apply for a business license before he mowed lawns under the table. A homeless, a homeless shelter ran a food bank that wasn't state approved, so the state came in and fucking bleached their trash bags full of fucking food. Like, they threw the food in the trash bags and bleached that. Uh, fucking trees get planted and then dug up by the state. Potholes get unfilled because the state says that they didn't use the right cement or something. Meanwhile, the potholes went unfilled for fucking ever. The homeless were going hung hungry. And little kids were, what, too free? Yeah, we definitely need government. Government isn't the reason people are this way. Government doesn't say that at a structural level, violence is required. Government isn't a fundamentally violent institution which regularly promotes and uh, uses things like war and police action and intelligence community action and all this sort of shit. They don't use all that to push institutional violence. America is just a breath away from fucking murdering every single person in America and every American for themselves. That's what the purge says. And people eat it up. Because that's how they're indoctrinated. Which means that if anarchy did happen in this way, if chaos happened in this way, um, people who aren't anarchists now would be the worst in anarchy. They would fucking, like... They would be the sorts of people who would try to justify this sort of violent action because they think that the world is already this way so they might as well join in. And that's sad. It's pretty fucking sad. This is a disjointed, unscripted rant here. But like... Th the society that we live in is such as to prevent basic civility on a daily basis. People are wondering who would build the roads, who would pay for schools and healthcare and shit, who would take care of the elderly. Well, if it's not you, then you're part of the reason that society is this way, and government shouldn't exist to keep people like you in line. Otherwise, it's not really deserved. And if you do grow old, or if you are sick, or if you do send your kid to school, it's all at the force of things that you don't actually believe in enough to put your money where your mouth is. And this is the way the purge works in the real world. People live at the expense of each other on a daily basis. The brutality of existence is the purge. 
but it happened slowly. Not over 12 hours, but over 365 days of the fucking year. That's what the purge is. The purge happens when bombs are dropped in the Middle East before a, a lockdown the government manufactured, uh, which destroyed the economy, uh, gets any sort of stimulus relief from Biden. He bombed Syria first. Remember that forever. <laughs> it's, it's the brutality of a thousand plus people a year killed by cops by gunfire alone. It's the brutality of drug raids on otherwise peaceful people or drug raids on people who didn't even have any drugs because whoops, wrong these houses. Everyday life is horrible. You, you get two-day shipping because a military-industrial complex guarded vehicle loaded for bear went from China where they're operating on slave labor and terrible conditions uh, used fucking conflict-mined minerals to make a smartphone so that you can order that two-day shipping from Taiwan and Indonesia, where they have further sweatshops. Um, and, 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 and all this goes to making sure that that thing gets across the world on a petrodollar that you helped build um, that still funds extreme amounts of violence and is responsible for a huge amount of the military-industrial complex, if not all of it. You get two-day shipping because of that. And you want to say that anarchists are the problem? You want to say that the purge is somehow abnormal? That violence wouldn't still be a thing? The purge is only in America in that world. The rest of the world is still fucked. You know? It, even if this thing did somehow manage to cathartically cleanse a nation, it still doesn't mean that the rest of this shit still isn't happening. So, like, what exactly is the beef here with anarchists when the nation is what made the nation that way and why are we not blaming the government because clearly they have decided in this movie in this fictional environment let me remind you that people should be violent and that we should help them and encourage them as long as they're not shooting us as long as they're not making any structural or fundamental change as long as they still buy the private security bullshit um, to, to fucking uh, shield themselves from, from our manufactured disaster. I mean, that's the way it is normally, so why not in fiction? It's, it's just, it's astonishing to me that anybody uses this as an allegory anymore. Because it's so obvious bullshit that I don't see how it's not just laughed off. I mean, when, when, when you watch Child's Play and you see the, the, the somewhat poorly animated um, puppet thing walking around and killing people and, and flashing one-liners at them, uh, nobody thinks that that's how people would be if they were allowed to make dolls like that. So why do people use the Purge as an actual allegory for anarchy well because they're scared of us because the state has made them afraid of what it would be to be without them because they have Stockholm Syndrome because they were abused from the cradle to the grave that's why I just thought I'd have that sort of point anyway feel free to uh, knife that like button, subscribe button, etc., etc. Feel free to throw me some support if you like what I do. Uh, the moment I can afford it, I'm going to get a substack because I've got some uh, people's substacks to tear up, and I need to be able to buy a private mailbox in order to start my business address. So feel free. Anyway, this has been a sweaty, disheveled, actual anarchist. Smash the.